Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best lightning build in Elder Ring Patch 1.09. We are going to arrive over here at Stormveld Castle, specifically the Lost Grace themed Rampart. We want to go outside, go across, jump to this building, and then drop down below. We are going to continue forward and go to the very back. You will see that there's a bigger fella there, and you will see on the right that this is going to be a doggo. We want to go towards the left and then go straight in and claim the Lost Grace. If you have already explored Stormveld Castle and defeated Godric the Grafted, most likely you have these Lost Graces available. Just fast travel to Lift Side Chamber if that is the case. You can then exit out, go to the two fellows out here, which is going to be the Doggo and the Omen there. We want to go ahead and take out the omen only, yet you most likely will have to take out the dog because, yeah, it's going to be an issue when you're trying to fight him and trying to fight the dog. So just take out the dog first and then go after the omen. If you have something that's useful to take out both, such as what I'm using right here, which is the Beast Claw Ashes of War, you can definitely do so. You can tell that I just picked up the Omen Cleaver, and this is what we need. So let's go on towards the second items that we are going to have to pick up. This is going to be spells, so we want to head over here towards the Royal Capital. The Lost Grace that you want to travel to is West Capital Rampart, and then you want to go towards the left, take out the enemy, and then drop below the balcony here. We are going to then jump towards the right. What you will see in the distance is two fellas, one at the top with a bow, and on the bottom there, you'll see one with the spear. In my opinion, it might be easier to take out the fella there with the bow, and then go to the bottom here and take out the guy with the spear. Once you've done so, you will be rewarded with the gravel stone seal. Next up, we need some spells to cast, so let's head over towards Weeping Pinsula, and we are going to travel towards the west here. Hop on top of your mount, and then take a left, and then you will be heading towards the southwest. We want to travel to this exact direction because there's going to be a part where we need to drop down. If you drop down too soon, you will be at a part where there's a cave entrance. That's not where you need to be. You need to go past this area, so this is why we're on the top portion here and going towards the left. What you will see eventually is going to be some tombstones. You will want to use this to allow yourself to drop down below softly so you will not hit the ground hard and then fall to your death. Take it easy here because I went a little crazy there and almost fell to my death. We are going to locate the Golden Scarab here in the middle. Take it out and you should be rewarded with the Lightning Strike. There's going to be some lightning and some bats guarding this area so be careful and watch out for that. Let's head over towards the Insul River and we are going to head towards the west. Now in this location there's quite a few insects so you do want to watch out for them. They do pack a punch. You can avoid them, just run past them. If you stick around too long, yeah, that's when you're going to get attacked and ganged up on. There's some good loot here if it's your first time traveling through. I highly recommend picking up a lot of this stuff. And continuing towards the west here, we eventually will come into this smaller room with this uh, bigger ant here. We are going to go past him, take a left, and then you'll be in the palace ruins. We are going to then continue forward and then drop down below. We will then go around the statue. You will see a fellow in the middle. Go around him and then go straight through this entrance. You will see in the distance that there's going to be this larger room. We are going to head towards the left side so that you're facing towards the west. You will see a Lost Grace eventually coming up. You will want to claim that just in case anything happens. This way if you end up falling towards your death or you get attacked or ganged up by insects, you can then just fast travel or basically just be sent back towards this exact Lost Grace. We will then exit out of the Lost Grace and then continue towards the west. You will see this large room here. Pick up some loot if you have not done so already and then continue towards the northwest. We are going to then take a right and we are going to continue along this path and then go towards the left and go through all the way until you reach this exact mist door. Interact with it and take out the large boss here. I'll be honest, this dude right here is not too bad compared to a lot of bosses. So this should be fairly easy. I just, I tend to stick in between the groin and the gooch area here when I'm attacking. And for the most part, it keeps me alive so you guys can try that. Once you defeat the boss, you will be rewarded with Frozen Lightning Spear. Continuing on towards the next spell. If you head over here towards the Artist Shack, we could then continue towards the south. You should see a fella in the distance. 
he's not too far you want to take him out now again this exact location can be found right here on the map what you will notice is when you defeat this guy right here he will drop a prayer book you can take this over towards the round table and turn it in so that you can then grab more spells i'll show you what i mean here in a second so you will be able to pick up the book take it to the round table go towards the left interact with this guy right here we're going to then go through and answer everything that he says and then choose the top option these are the basic spells once you turn in the prayer book you will be able to purchase more we are going to purchase the two on the bottom here yet feel free to purchase more if you have the runes available the next location that we need to head towards is mount gilmer specifically the bridge of inquiry if you already have this grace then travel to it once you are here exit out of it and then proceed towards the west you will see various enemies in this location so just avoid all of them usually they're battling it out and typically you will not be aggroed so let's go ahead and continue along the path here what you should see is some trolls that are hanged up upside down as well as you will see a dead end here there's no way to continue forward there will also be an invader some dogs here what i would recommend if you are just going for the spell is to head into this building pick it up and then jump off the map or if you want to have a challenge then i guess take out the invader as well continuing towards talismans we want to go towards the church of the plague and we're going to then go towards the west after we have interacted with the lady on the left you will see that there's a point where we can drop down at this is where we need to drop down at because this is just a quick way to get to the next spot without really just fast traveling to a different spot and then going down all the way here yeah yeah just if you fast travel to the church of plague you can drop down talk to gallery's shack and then what's going to happen is he's basically going to go through a bunch of dialogue he will ask you to show up over here to the swamps and then we'll defeat the boss there he will then drop the gold needle we'll take that back towards him and then interact with him what he will ask you at this point essentially is to rest and come back i mean literally that's what we need to do we will then come back he will give us a needle that is prepared we can take that back towards the church of the plague go back towards this location and then we can go ahead and give her the needle what's going to happen at this point is that she will take it you'll have this black screen it'll fade in and out what we need to do next is rest at the lost grace and then exit out you do not need to rest literally until nightfall or morning or whatever just exit out and then you will see that she's standing up talk to her exhaust the dialogue all the way and then we can continue on towards the next step the next step is to head back towards the shack you will see that the fella has disappeared so if you did not interact with him before and purchase some of his spells you may want to do that the next step is to head over towards the shaded castle and then continue towards the northwest there's going to be a few enemies here as well as the poison floor here it's best to stick obviously to the hard landing and not the, the uh, liquid part of this map we're going to take the ladder up what you will notice in the distance here is quite a few enemies as well as one building towards the left and a rotten knight we are now going to go inside the building go towards the back open up the chest and you will be rewarded with this right here what's great about this room is that the statues do block the attacks from the knight we can then exit out and continue over here towards the earth tree gazing hill we'll go up and interact with this lady again which is Melissant. we will now give her the valkyrie prosthesis once she has received this we can then continue over towards the windmill village you will continue all the way up towards the very top you will need to battle a godskin boss one of them and at this point once it has been defeated you can then claim the lost grace the Lost Grace is going to allow us to interact with Melissant. Otherwise, there's no other way to talk to her. So you do need to defeat the Godskin Apostle. Once that has been done, you can then rest. And you will see that she is available to talk to. And she will be on the bottom right there. The thing about this is that you have two options. You can, of course, complete the whole entire quest. Or you can take her out early and claim that Prosthesis Talisman it's entirely up to you i highly recommend it because you can actually stack this with the winged sworded insignia 
and it does phenomenal damage on top. So I, I recommend it, but for lore-wise and quest-wise, and I guess being a collector, you might want to complete it. The next talisman can be found over here at Stillwater Cave, Lost Grace. We want to go inside, go towards the south, continue along the side here. If you drop down in the poison pool, that's going to be devastating. So this is why I recommend always sticking to the top portion here and then jumping across to the bottom and then you can continue forward. The fellas here, they do shoot out some poison as well, so you want to watch out for that. Continuing along this path, we will eventually see a mist door. Interacting with this mist door will allow us to go against a mini boss. Take out this knight and you will be rewarded with the next talisman. This is going to be the winged sworded insignia and this can be stacked with the previous talisman we just picked up. Next we need to head over here towards Windham or Windham catacombs and then we can go towards the north. Go towards the right side here and interact with the plate. Not the plate that shoots the lightning but the plate that allows you to go down with the lift. We are going to continue towards the east. You should see these two imps here. Go past them and then go towards the south. We are going to then continue along here. These sneaky little pesky little brats here shooting and hitting us with stuff. So yeah, you got to watch out for that. Continuing towards the south, take a right, go towards the west, and then we will eventually see a ladder. There will be this guy. There will be this knight guarding the ladder. Yet it can be dodged and then go straight up the ladder. You should see at the top that there's going to be stairs. You'll go up it, and at the end here, you will see this gray mist door. Interact with the statue with your stone sword keys. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately I was taken out. But hey, I went back at it and grabbed the lightning scorpion charm. Once you have added everything together, including these spells, the talismans, and the uh, gravel stone seal, and you have applied the lightning slash to your omen cleaver, you will see some insane damage. I was able to receive up to 2k damage on one enemy and that's pretty good. On most bosses it can be up to 1 to 2k and I definitely recommend that you guys try this out. It's one of my favorite builds honestly and someone recommended it in the comment section and I'll give a shout out to him right now. Ah, here it is. Here's his name. Uh, uh, big shout out to Aiden Banana Peel. Uh, uh, wow, interesting name. I actually have to say kudos to the username. I, when I first replied back to you or actually liked the comment, I did not realize that your name was that, but that's hilarious. Hope that you guys have a great day out there and enjoy the build. I will leave the stats here and I won't do it at the end because typically the end screens interfere with the image and yeah, I know a lot of you talked about that in the bleed build video, so I will not make that mistake. So other than that, thank you all for watching the video. A big shout out to everyone that's currently subscribed and is a member. I appreciate everyone out there. And if you have not subscribed, turn the notifications on, click the bell icon and you'll see notified for all. Click that and there you go. I'll see you all in the next video.